I don't know what it feels like to be heartbroken. Yes, I have thought of one person for the entire year. But I don't think that is still heartbreak. Your house always is quiet. It is. It's usually quiet. When I'm not on stage, this is what I want, quiet. Because I'm not someone who has, has a lot of friends. And right. Is that on purpose? Yes. I just couldn't invest in people. Maybe it had to do with people coming and leaving. Hmm. I figured you wouldn't be disappointed if you don't invest in people. <laughs> do you have a best friend? Yeah, Janet's my best friend. <laughs> She's also your manager. Yes. 17 years, you know, we've mm. been best yeah. friends and working together and we've not had such a, any serious problem. She's somebody who I trust. I'm loyal. Oh, my sweetie boo boo. Yes? Do you notice that he's lost a lot? He's kind of like at a fucking good weight mm -hmm. right now. How old is your dog? He's 13. <laughs> And it shows. He's old and he's, he's, he's either you or me. We'll see who outlives each other. Do you want to live long? Just long enough. When it's getting too long, I'll advise my family to please turn off the switch. Do you, do you think you're a weird person? No. People used to think I was. They've all, all my life. But no, I don't think I'm weird. I'm just unconventional. Hmm. I didn't have a lot of help growing up. It's always people or family will just look at you like you will not result to anything. Mm. Half the time they said my music was horrible, I should sing what people understood. Mm. But in my heart, I knew where I wanted to go. So childhood was really just um, alone and just me and my dreams and fantasies and you know, my world. You know, I remember this when I was exactly 17. That was when I was smoking. I was having my last stick of cigarette. Because my parents didn't know I smoked. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's discipline. Parents can discipline, but they don't know what their kids are doing. Sure. But I had to call myself at 17. Now, you need to stop this. I always looked at myself like, yes, yeah, I will be a star. So don't do this, don't do that, don't be Cut doing this. That's, that's the kind of hunger, hunger that I want to go back to. Are you religious? No, but I swear to God, I even tried to become a born again and become the president of the born again association. I knew I wasn't genuine. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not religious because uh, maybe I don't have enough understanding or maybe the understanding I have is God is actually has given us everything that we need. I've always listened to my the voice inside and it's never misled me. You know, it's just now sometimes that I don't listen. You know, now there are people involved and it's honestly, this mm. is the this dark side of the music and that's what I don't like. Saba, Tababi, you finished? So do you guys just speak French? Well, yeah, once in a while we speak French. <laughs> that cook. Oh, c'est bien. Do you believe in love? Oh, 100%. I don't know what it feels like to be heartbroken. Hmm. I have been disappointed. Yes, I have thought of one person for the entire year. Is he thinking of me? <laughs> What is he doing now? Does he feel bad about you know what he did? You know, but it doesn't stop me from loving. Loving is the best thing. You know? It's the love and, and one thing I always do with relationship is I tell the person, you don't own me and I don't own you. You can leave anytime you want. Hmm. So that's the first freedom 
but you should never stop loving you. How would you know who the right person is if you don't keep loving, if you don't keep dating, if you don't keep finding you know, the right people? You yeah. have to date like it's uh, going out of fashion. God's will, and if it happens, it's God's will. That's, that's the basic thing. Would you say you're uh, a happy person? I am incredibly happy. I don't need much to be happy. I don't wake up with anxiety. I'm always very happy to wake up. I'm comfortable. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. Yeah, comfort is not always good. Do you have any bad habits? Yeah, I do. Uh, procrastination, because I'm the queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only procrastinate when I have to write. I mean, if there's one thing I do hate, honestly, it's writing. <laughs> I hate it. I can't, you can't write what you don't know. I think most of the time, whenever I, I write, obviously it has to be from me, but I always think about people. Will people understand or see themselves in the stories I'm writing? or in the lies that I'm telling. <laughs> so, yeah, do, so, so your music is more for people than you? Mm. Okay. Do you, do you um, ever compare yourself with anybody? I don't compare, but I do listen to all the songs to okay. see where I am, okay. if I'm doing the right thing, or if I'm giving rubbish. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit too self-critical. Oh my God, I'm almost having a headache from overthinking. Wow. I'm thinking so much. <laughs> I can allow myself just, hey, just do it. I try to use more music now, like. I want to. Yeah. I think times have changed, you know? Yeah, the mind is such a vast well of ideas that if you don't put them out, you lose them. I mean, God gave us this brain. <laughs> use it. <laughs> so why not? Why not release more? Why not be more in contact with your with your fans, your friends, those people who love you, you know. I try to do that, but it's hard. <laughs> I think I was maxed out. Maxed out. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> so did you live your life in Lagos? All your Ibadan. life? Right? Ibadan. Yeah. Beautiful. So you speak your Yeah, yeah. I moved so to Lagos when... in like 2019. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I like your uh, video on sex. Oh yeah, <laughs> really good. Thank you. I thought Thank you so much. it was amazing. You had like a good balance of people. Yeah. You know, and it was also cool to hear them talk, talk about, about sex. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people don't even know half. <laughs> you know, half of what's going on. Of what's going on. <laughs> from what you know now, right? If there's anything you could go back and change from when you started, when you first started hmm. making music, what would you change? Hmm. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I probably wouldn't change anything. I didn't know. What I don't know, I, I can't kill myself. But what I know now, and if I mess up, because I know it, that that's my fault. Please don't tell me you're falling Cause I wouldn't know what to do with myself Please don't tell me you love me Cause I've been waiting, waiting, waiting For the one Who never comes It was good <laughs> Your own way Unconventional way Okay <laughs> Thank you You're just free and do your thing right. Holistically um, yeah. As an artist, please let people critique you, let them help you, let them see what the, the, the crowd likes and don't think about fame now, fame is, is a side effect of your good work. You used to be my everything, treated me like I was a queen, was it custom me?